Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the absolute cheapest Class A gas motorhome in the country. This is the 2020 Coachman Pursuit Model 27 XPS. I've been waiting a long time to get one of these in so we can make this video. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited because we're taking a look at the absolute cheapest motorhome you can buy for 2020. Now somebody might be wondering, Matt, why are you calling it the cheapest motorhome? Well, I'm not calling it the cheapest motorhome, but it's the best priced motorhome. Mostly because if you look over here on this side, this is the only Class A in the country that you can get that doesn't have a slide out. It is absolutely incredible. Now, before we begin, I want to say hi to Andrea. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for coming out. Have happy belated Valentine's Day to everyone. Yay! Thanks so much. I hope your sweethearts took you out to dinner. Yes, absolutely. Great. So, before we begin, or no, not before we begin, now we begin. Model is 27 XPS, but the actual tip to tip length is 29 feet. This is a Coachman Pursuit. It is their entry level motorhome. And the whole concept behind this motorhome is kind of like a tailgater motorhome or a quick in and out. You know, there's virtually no setup to do because it just is this way all the time. Right here, you have mirrors on your left side and right side. Uh, something that I'm not a huge fan of is there's no cameras. You know, th there's a lot of features that this motorhome's missing, but before you sign off, you gotta watch the whole video because once you see the price point, you'll understand the whole concept behind this motorhome. It is on the Ford V10 engine, 320 horsepower, no, well, three, yeah, 320 horsepower with 460 pounds of torque. You do have the 19.5 inch tires. And then check out this storage. Now listen, this motorhome, check that out. This motorhome will not give you the most bells and whistles. It probably won't give you any bells or whistles, but what it is gonna give you is ultimate storage. It still is a Coachman motorhome. That means it still uses the Asdell composite, which is a green composite, so it will never delaminate on you. And what that means is, if this is one of your first time watching my videos, other manufacturers will use, use Luon, which is a wood-based material. So whenever there's a little leak and moisture gets behind there, that's when you'll get that delamination. In a Coachman product, that will never happen. And you do have a power awning. Let's check it out. There it goes. I do like that pattern. Oh yeah. Nice power awning. Now, there is no LED lights under the awning, but again, once you guys hear the price point, you can buy your own freaking light set, you know what I'm saying? Over here, it is prepped for solar panel on the outside, a portable one. You have power and a coax right here and a place to hook up a TV if you wanna have a TV outside. The reason why I love this is it doesn't limit you to the size of the television. You know, you can have a big one, you know, that big. Coming down the side, right here. This looks like it's your black tank, and then there's a valve there. I'm not 100% sure, we'll see on the other side. And then right there, you have a propane quick connect. Now this is really what makes this motorhome special. Check out this amount of storage. Oh my goodness. This is a crazy amount of storage for a Class A gas motorhome. Look at I that. I mean, you got compartments on all three sides. It's just one open, open this, and it is just very, very nice. Cool, coming around the back, you do have a rear bumper for your sewer hose, which is nice. 
you have a fuel fill up in the rear right here it's an 80 gallon fuel capacity also i'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome tanks length sizes width all down in the description below and while i'm a huge fan of this is because it's easy to access on both sides and you do have a backup camera right there that's a good thing so you don't have it on left blinker right blinker but at least you have it in reverse also you have a uh the roof is a it's new for coachman it's not a fiberglass roof it is a cross mesh roof it's like a um crap i'll put something up TPO? right here no it's not like a tpo it's like a uh i don't even know how to describe it they'll see something on the screen describing what the roof material is how is the hitch oh oh yeah you have an eight thousand pound hitch and this motorhome can tow pretty close to eight thousand pounds i still wouldn't push it to the limit i i keep it around six or seven thousand pounds and the reason why is because there's no slide outs interesting makes sense yeah right? it does make sense let's go up on the roof and check it out here we go now oh my goodness hold on up here on the roof you can see that it's this new material uh i hate i hate that i forget what it's called but you'll see what it is it's nice solid one piece i believe it has a 12 year warranty on it there's your ac unit pretty basic it is prepped up there for a satellite dish you have your digital antenna and everything else pretty pretty basic again just a basic great motorhome matthew you sure get your exercise going up and down that ladder hell yeah <laughs> great and if you haven't already make sure you smash that thumbs up button what our other rv salesman is going to take his fat ass up on the roof show you what features the roof has to offer nobody nobody and andrea <laughs> guess what what we're back in the sticker business y'all yeah uh, first time we promoted a sticker we only sold one last video we sold 13 stickers so again if you want your official matt's rv review sticker that you can put right there <laughs> then uh down under this video on youtube you'll see a thing that says matt's rv reviews merchandise just get the sticker put it on your hundred thousand dollar motorhome let's continue the video here's the other side of that incredible storage very nice 30 amp power cord right there all right what's over here over here's where you dump your black and gray tank so that must have just been another tank that fills into this area or no i know what that is yeah so that was the black tank so you pull that and then that's just a channel so you only need to hook it up in one spot instead of hooking it up a separate black tank and a separate gray tank that actually makes sense here's your fresh water fill sewer tank flush city water connection and exterior cable i don't like how it's exposed but i at least like how they did that it actually looks very neat and organized and simple and easy to understand right there cummins onan 4000 gasoline generator here's your water heater it's a six gallon dsi water heater you have an outdoor shower when you got to shower off because you're too dirty to shower on the inside <laughs> right here's your propane this is a 20 gallon propane tank and again all the specifications about this motorhome are in the description below and then right here look a little bit more storage because you never have enough that's right now the outside of this motorhome looks great eh, kind of average but the inside is really what makes this motorhome let's go take a look i do like the front headlight design yes and, and not really it's it's, it's average mean, yeah and they got it's the like little, a 6.5 and they got a grill yeah it's 6.5 Check it out. Okay. Oh wow, the cargo carry capacity is 2,600 pounds. Wow. So this is what the motorhome looks like. Oh, I didn't get a good. When the slide outs are in, that. and walk back there, please. And when the slide outs are out, this is what the motorhome looks like at all times. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pretty big fan of that. So. Now, um, normally this is where we put the slide out, out, but we don't have a slide out, so do me a huge favor. If you could, leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome and three things you don't like about this motorhome. 
the more people who comment and hit that thumbs up button, the more YouTube likes to promote us. And I was talking to uh, Mr. Bo Miller, who is the Coachman rep, and he loves he loves the channel, y'all. Awesome. So Coachman is watching, and so they want to hear your feedback on this model with no slide outs. Should they expand, or should they keep it the same? Or should they eliminate it? Who knows? <laughs> All right. Up front here, look at this. I love this. Coachman does this really well. I love this computer tray. I absolutely love that. No MCDs. You do have these curtains that go around. Now, Price Point Motorhome. Matthew, there is a little cup holder there. It is a little tricky. See, it comes oh, down. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. It looks like that's going to break, though. Pretty easy. Oh, but you do have one in the driver's area. And for, you do have one here. Where you can put your beer. <laughs> Over here in the cockpit area, I must say. This is a very nice setup. This is very nice. It looks good. It feels good. I like the wrap around. I like how it's kind of angled at you to make you feel like you're in a command center. That's really funny. Now, Matthew, this is self leveling, right? Oh, no, it does not. Uh, thank you for mentioning that. There's no auto leveling on this motorhome at all. Um, part, listen, there's no. Andrea. I'm sorry. There's no lights under the awning. You think they're really going to have auto leveling on this motorhome? Oh, well, I mean, I just... It's a small motor home, and it's made to be at the price point that it is, which we'll go over shortly. All right. And, and by the way, that is a dislike. But, you know, you can add auto leveling. It just takes it out of the specific price Let's range. Let's check out this in. bunker with the cab real quick. So oh, yeah. Right here. We got about that. Boop, boop. How does this go down? Is there a lock uh, key over there? Oh. Okay. So here we go. All right, Max all right. weight is what? 300, 300 pounds? 300, okay. yep. Okay, this is interesting. Yep. Let's see. Do you need... Oh. oh, okay. That's nice. Okay, and you don't have to move the seats or worry about that at all. Nope, and with it not being electric, that's something that's not going to break on you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And let me just ask you... Didn't I we have a bad break on us once? Um, I think, yeah. Remember, we, we had a hard time getting it up. Now, d these chairs do not swivel a lot. I would assume they don't because of being so close. Great. Yeah. Okay. No. Great. In the living area, you have pretty nice cabinetry. Wow. Deep drawers or whatever. Cabinets. You got a power thing there. You got a pretty comfortable couch, I must say. Storage under here. This look. is nice. Oh. People like to see that. No, it's no. not storage. Oh, it's just a little handle. Yeah, it's just jackknife. So this is a jackknife out. sofa. You got seatbelts there. You're looking directly across at your television. I like the television up there. You know why? Because it doesn't take away from your big window. Look, these are some big windows. Yes, in here. and they're back. To, they're just right across from each other, so yep. it makes it, it a lot better in here with light. Yep. One for light. Two, you're gonna get that cross ventilation. Yes. Uh, this drops down to make a bed. You got seat belts in the dinette. You got cup holders in the dinette. And you do have storage down here. I can see the cabinets. You got a door. You guys. Oh yeah. Seat belts. Got seat belts. Seat belt safety first. And then show this one underneath. Oh yeah. Nice. Very nice. Cool. Up here in the kitchen area. Is this the place? No. No. Up here in the kitchen area, you got a nice kitchen. Look at this. This is a nice refrigerator. This refrigerator. It's already cold. Yeah, it runs off the batteries. This is that 12 volt compressor fridge, which is nice. It's actually a really good size. I'm actually surprised they have this in here. We're trying to keep the price point down. Over here in the kitchen area, you have a nice sink. Look at this. Look at this. We're not ready. Oh my God, Kool Aid. No, it's already winterized. Uh, look at this, you got an oven, nice oven. Nice cooktop burner right here. Very nice. They just got a regular microwave. Well, yeah, but you have an oven. Yeah. Very nice. And look, I even like the backsplash, what's going on there. And over here, wow, look at that. That's big pantry space. Yes. Can we see the cupboard over here on the bottom? Certainly. Go, go show them. Okay. Okay, good. Put a little trash can there. Yep. All right. Great. Very nice kitchen. Now, it's time for the price. 
You guys are gonna love this. Listen, I'm gonna make you guys wait like 10 seconds because if you don't know what the price is, it's going to absolutely stun you. You're giving us an MSRP, right? MSRP of this motorhome is, Class A motorhome is $107,938 MSRP. Sale price, we have a whopping 33% wow. off MSRP down to 72999 That is insane. On the sale price online. And that's what we're showing you, but that's not the best price you can get on it. You know what customers can do? Yes. Tell me. They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrbreviews at gmail.com to get an even better price than that. Now trust me, believe me, that's pretty nitty gritty and there's not that much more. I've had a couple people like call me and they're like, yeah, can you do it for $20,000 off? I'm like, bro, I can't even do it for $5,000 off. But you know, we, we, we price our stuff aggressively, but whatever you see that you like, you call me, we'll get you a better price. Right here, you do have some separation. It's not like oh, okay. a slide door, a but little... it is like a accordion type of door. Yes. Check out this shower. Very nice. Oh yeah, and did I mention that this is the best priced Class A gas motorhome in America? I don't think you did. Yeah. Maybe you did at the beginning. I did, but not during the price. Best priced motorhome in America. In America. On America. <laughs> Look, you got this nice, this is actually a really nice shower for how small, considering how small this motorhome is. Yeah. Great. Over here in the turlet. This is your favorite place. This is the turlet. Let's see if it has the four P's. Holy smokes! No auto leveling, y'all. No lights under the awning, but they did put that porcelain toilet in. Really? I promise you. Oh my goodness. Oh no. We're not not taking the test. Uh oh. We're taking the test, y'all. Put that underneath that cabinet. Oh, I got okay. it. Wow. Seriously? I am impressed right now. All right, time for the toilet test. Hold on. Oh yeah, look. No, I don't like it. Plenty of room for you. No, it needs to be. You don't like that it's a step. It's like no, on no, a no. pedestal. This wall. I think it's spacey. Let me sit down. Okay, Andrea's toilet test. Yeah, I, I just. Let's see. Maybe it's me. It probably is. Maybe true. it's not fluffy friendly. I think it's fine. Why aren't your shoulders touching the wall? I don't know. But <laughs> toilet paper placement holders in a good spot. Guys, I think it's fine. The only thing that's a little bit weird is like my legs hanging off, but. But if you get a squatty potty, then you're good. <laughs> Andrea, is that toilet Andrea approved? It is. It is Andrea approved. Oh, Andrea approved. It's just not fluffy approved. So let's Great. show the rest. Then you have your sink here. Sink, hold on, sink. And we got a mirror there. Yep, yep. Cabinet here. But you know what I just thought of? I mean, let's be real. If you're taking a poop, you're probably going to the bathhouse anyway, right? I mean, unless you're boondocking somewhere. Yeah, so it gets the job done. We got some shelves down here, guys. And there's another, Matthew, is that a cabinet? Yeah, and there's another cabinet there. Yep. People like to see this, so you got to open these up. Very nice. All, All right. right, let's check out this bedroom, y'all. You have a nice north-south walk-around bed. Yes, I like that. Okay, that's why they had to make that wall like that, so you can walk around. Should show, show down by the corner by the bed. Because of where yep. that is in the bathroom. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. But you know what? You can still get around. I mean, I mean, which... listen. What can you expect? It's a motorhome with no slide-outs. Right. You got to make some shortcuts. But. Oh, that's interesting. I love this. Got a little thing okay. there. Look, you got drawers over On here. On both sides, and that one's Show bigger. Show that drawer, that one's bigger. Yeah, that one's bigger over here. Oh yeah. Nice. And then we have these cabinets here. Yep. And then look, you even have the Coach Pap CPAP station. Nice. Very nice. I'm not gonna lie, I, I really like the bedroom. There's a place for a TV there. It is ducted through. It does the air have conditioning a fan up there. Yep. So the bed is what a queen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. There, I believe there is storage under the bed. Let's oh. let's see. 
No? So. Oh, okay, no, there no, isn't. No, because you have that storage. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. But that's it. That's the review. Now, before you leave, it's now time that we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? Let's leave, let, we'll leave this video on a positive note. So let's do the three dislikes first. All right, well, that's kind of easy. Um, it, it's, it's the, how do I say this? <laughs> <laughs> How do I say this? Just say oh, it, man. Oh, Bo Miller's watching me. No, um, just some of the shortcuts that they did. Like, and it's stupid shit, right? Oh, stupid what? stuff. My bad. A little, little, little bleep that out. Um, like, no awning lights. Like, listen, I know you're trying to hit a certain price point, but come on, how much are awning lights, right? That's one. I almost rather have a plastic toilet with awning lights. Do you uh, have something? I actually don't agree with that. The awning lights to me aren't that big of a deal. Oh, okay. Well, then what's your thing? What's my thing? Yeah, Honestly. don't take away my thing without adding something. Uh, uh, the, the auto love lane. Okay. Um, so, yeah. No. That's just how I feel. Huh. Well, I mean, I, I think this is a great RV. Yeah. Coachman did a good job. Yeah. But that's how I feel. I feel like it might not have been too bad if there was electric stabilizing. True. Like, you don't need auto leveling. And I think maybe we missed that because I think I saw in the storage, I think it said raise and down or something. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Go, Andre. Uh, I'll hold it. Maybe we missed it. Uh, Where'd you see that? Right there. Oh! Oh, oh damn it, <laughs> damn it again. So, okay, cool. So that's cool. So it does have... Here, Rear, guys. See? Uh, electric stabilizing. So that's a good thing. You know, good thing I noticed that. Yeah, because we were about to hate on this motorhome. Okay. So we're still at one dislike. Here's another dislike. Follow me. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I love your dad. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to remember I'm half crippled right now, too. So, I, you know, I, I'm doing better, guys. Slowly. All right, on to the same point. I do not like how there's no cameras in the mirror. Now, this is something they could, customers could add though. Yeah, no, it is, but like, like the the lights are one thing. Even the leveling's one thing. The camera, I I, I just don't like how they don't have that. That's just me. But I agree. You, but you can't get it added. All right, so that's number two, and then number three. I don't even know. You want me to point it out? Yeah. Okay. For me in here, it's lack. I know this is a smaller motorhome, but the lack of storage space in the kitchen. We only have this one cabinet here. Uh huh. And then this this one under here. Right. So. But that's what slide outs oh, get wait, you. Oh wait, there's one under the fridge. All one right. more. Okay. But yeah, no, I mean that's true. a good dislike. It, it's it is you, what it is. You know, I wouldn't want to live in this full time. But it gets the job done camping and everything. Absolutely. And then um, and and then listen, a lot of people. Here's are, our control panel, guys. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. A lot of people are like Matt. Why would you not live in it full time? Like you might be living in it full time. That's fine. Miles top, right? I would not live in it full time. But that's it. We need to do our three likes. I know. Oh. <laughs> now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. First and foremost, I love the driving area, command center, cockpit. I absolutely love that. The seats are surprisingly they comfortable. They are comfortable. I did sit over it. I've been in it. more expensive motorhomes that have been less comfortable. And I love this computer tray. That is one of the best ones. Absolutely. I like the way it just it swings out like that. Yep, definitely. That's one. Two. Did I show the floor? Yep. Okay. Do you have a like? Do I? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. I like the windows. Yep. I like well, the well, windows. Well, so that's going to add into what I was going to say. I love this living room setup. I like the sofa across from the TV. I like the dinette there. It's a good social gathering. And then I love how the big windows are there for a nice cross breeze and ventilation. And then number three is outside. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go first. Oh, after you. Okay. Ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. Oh, over here, please. Oh, I thought you were going to touch on the hitch. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> I'll buy you. This and is a big three, deal. And number three is the 8,000 pound hitch. Again, make sure you check the weights, the GVWR minus the GCWR to make sure you're not towing too much. But for everything this motorhome is lacking, that's increasing the towing capacity 
So if you do have a 6,000, let's say you have like a GMC Canyon or, um, or like a Chevy Colorado, like one of those small trucks, like, and it's too heavy for a regular gas motorhome, you can tow it with this motorhome because of the lack of what's going inside. And we, there's no slides. Yes. And then I'm going to make a fourth thing I really like about this motorhome. Follow me, please. Yes, sir. I absolutely love the price point. This is the best priced motorhome in the country, and you will not find a better priced motorhome. But that's it. That's the review. I want to thank everybody for taking your time and watching this video. And I want to thank everybody who commented, who told me, Matt, we got to get a 27 XPS. We got to get one. Well, I caught up corporate in Wixom, Michigan, and I made it so we were able to get one down here for you guys, the RV review crew. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments below. Or if you want pricing or information on this motorhome, call me, text me, or send me an email directly. It's 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Down in the description, I do have a link to General RV. That's the dealership I work at. Uh, and it will have all their in-stock inventory. If you see something that you like and you want to work with me personally, call me directly. Do not click the info. But if you don't like me, but you still like General and you still like the price, click the info. Andre, you have anything you want to say to the I good do. people? I do. Tell them. Hey, guys, we are up to 24,500 subscribers. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We just feel so humbled and blessed, and we're just so grateful. So keep watching. If you have any questions, let Matt know. Let me know. And, uh, yeah, peace out. All right, hang on a second. <laughs> hang on. looks like I'm staying next to you. Okay. Cl close it out. We'll see you next time. Hey!